Now we're going live. Yeah, you heard me. You heard me, audience. We're going live now. We good going evening. Live. <laughs> Hi, four. It's good to hear your voice. Uh, we are here on the Greyhawk channel <laughs> playing Liberation of Joff and against the Giants Chronicle. Uh, I am your storyteller for the evening, Sean, also known as Throck. You can find me on the tweeters at Throck Place, and I'm very excited to be here with the whole group assembled uh, for the first game in a little while. We've got everybody back together, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, so I hope everyone's having a great night, and let's just go around and say hi to everyone, starting with Zippy. Hi, guys. You don't know where I'm going now. No, I don't. I'm I'm sitting here just waiting for me to be caught up on what happened. You know, <laughs> all y'all almost died, but luckily I wasn't there. <laughs> it's probably because I wasn't there. No, I'm just kidding. You guys are special in your own regards. It probably was just a really tough encounter. I heard there was a fire giant. That's ridiculous. Yeah. There was a fire giant. There were three fire giants. Oh, never mind. So yeah. it wouldn't have mattered if I was there or not. Guess what doesn't work so good against fire giants? Uh, I would assume your fire sword. Oh, yeah. Did you turn it into a water sword? Uh, no, I just turned it off. You should have went and found an enchanter. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shauna. Oh, hey, uh, Shauna. Um, yep, here playing uh, Man Arkenwald, um, ranger slash rogue, and usually someone that's fairly far from the immediate like front lines of where the hell happened especially last week with that jerk giant big jerk <laughs> how Tell dare me. he have two shields how dare how dare he how dare Wait, he had two her shields was he punching you with those two shields yeah they're really yeah, awful there was, <laughs> there was uh, uh, <laughs> they're, they're super gross what was it? that was like those what was it the um the volos volos giants or whatever yeah is. it's the oh, fire boy. giant uh i'll find it and let you know because i enjoyed it greatly it was yeah those um, are good i love those all right uh, I guess I hate fire giant well i don't know fire giant dreadnought that is correct yeah okay yeah this kind of, all right yeah yeah <laughs> nice. uh okay, okay. brit hi i'm brit I play Sir Lawrence Andrew Wells, and he is a fighter slash bard. And and yeah, I think I went oh. down twice. It was it was a time. Yep. It was Wait. definitely a time. It was a time. Mm hmm. And four. It is I four. I am Rolf Humden, the orc midwife cleric of Luthic. Here to deliver orc children among all those who are ready to deliver, as well as justice to Joff, where giants run amok. Also, I too had trouble last time. <laughs> I too had a plan that did not go as planned. They rolled too damn high. No, I started off perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna banishment, and uh, no, I, I tried banishment like three times, and it only worked once. Yeah. Most of the time, I was, I was frantically trying to, well, get things ready and saved. It yes. Good. It wasn't good. I didn't like it. Abby. Abby. You may be muted. Abby gets hurt. I thought I pushed the unmute button, but apparently I didn't. Uh, my name is Abby. I just got a shower. I'm not quite. Give me a second and I'll be there. But today I'm going to be playing Ellie Wick Humble Bumble, who is a gnome and who is a doctor. And she didn't have any problems last session with the trolls. She's very glad, actually, that we left the orcs to rest and learn about soccer and teamwork. Just, yeah, no problems at all. Awesome. <laughs> when we last left our intrepid adventurers, they decided to go investigate the town of Pragmere, sending Colin to report 
on the happenings at Pragmir Keep to Marshal Helen's daughter, who is running the war effort just about, you know, 90 miles away in Preston. Uh, he makes the flight away, and they first decide what to do with the orcs. Uh, they have about 40 of them, and their their idea was to create a football team. And bless you for it, because, yeah, that was it worked out really well. You now have two football teams, or soccer teams, uh, two Whoa. soccer teams. Yeah. Two absolutely awesome, totally willing to break each other's bones, orc soccer teams. So that means um, we'll just have one soccer team, right? After yeah, this. soon enough there'll be like one. Yeah, as they <laughs> continuously maim each other and rip things off. In yeah. Uh, however, our party, on the other hand, went down to explore the town of Pragmere, which it turns out was taken over by first these uh, kind of midi giants, medium giant slash human things called verbigs, which are not... They're big. They're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're verbig, big, but they're not like giant, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and they, uh, they and a number of fire giants had enslaved the population uh, of about 20 humans. And um, our party decided to go in by themselves and take on something like eight verbigs, two regular fire giants, and a fire giant with uh, two giant shields called the Fire Giant Dreadnought. And they did end up winning, but everybody nearly, well, almost everybody, nearly died at least once. Um, and yes, despite the fact that they had a platoon of orcs back home, they decided to go by themselves. I'm just reinforcing that they had a platoon of orcs Back at, at camp, you know, I'm it just saying good for orc morale. It, yes, I'm sure. And so, having defeated the giant leader at Pragmere Keep and finding new intelligence about a frost giant keep uh, deep within the mountains south of the capital of Joff, Gorna, we meet our party as they are meandering back with about 20 new civilians to join the cavalcade that they now have uh, to their main camp at Pragmere Keep. Uh, we'll assume for the game that you spent the night at Pragmere, everybody had the benefit of a full night's sleep, it would probably take Colin 24 hours to get there and back again, uh, and so as you approach the camp, uh, where you see orcs practicing football a number of rangers uh who you had brought along with you have kind of like taken up team sides and are like cheering them on um and they have you know this kind of like makeshift sort of uh football pitch there uh as you guys walk up to this you also see colin flying high in early in the morning of the next day and you all meet together at your campsite at pragmere keep as we begin the game, I'll throw it over to you. Hmm. Back early. Any news? Any news from leadership? This is the just. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is the. This is the place where I left Sir Bacon. Correct. No. Never mind. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Never mind. It's all good. Continue our conversation. Any news from leadership? Uh, yeah, don't fuck up. The usual, then. Usual. Great. I don't imagine that was their wording. Thought I told you to, like, shoo. Why don't you stay away when I <sighs> shoo you, Colin? All right. Bye. And he, like, gets back on to <laughs> gu guys. No, we need that one. We need that one. <laughs> As every time before, if they fly or walk off, I'm, Nias, I love you. You're such a beautiful breath. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right. So they did, they did just, they just talked and talked and talked and talked. And then we had tea. I hate tea. I'd rather have some kind of alcoholic beverage. And then they talked more. After that, I just tuned out. They just want us to stop the giants. Oh, so we have approval to keep going. Yeah. And go to the giant keep. Exactly. Good. They're so vague. 
Just go and kill giants. To be honest, I wasn't listening to a word that they were saying. They are pencil pushers. They sit in their uh, keep and they give orders. They don't come down and fight when they uh, when they need to. Thankfully, we have a miniature army to take care of that from now on, I believe. If you would please turn your gaze towards my 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 tribe are they kicking a pig around what what, what are they kicking uh, yes. yes the old pig skin yes is that sir bacon no no uh, is it a total one. other pig but do you see how well they're working together and ellie kind of tears up a little bit almost like I'm just really proud of them. They've come a long way. You have accomplished... A great deal. And uh, we are going to now make a new plan. <clears throat> now, as I understand it, we Excellent. know where our next attack should lie. We, as I understand, let's see. That note that we got concerning their meetup. I forget where exactly it was, but Harshnag knows where the giant keep is, so I just thumb towards Harshnag and say, we could get the scouts from Pippin's Bowery if we want. Although I seriously doubt they'll want to... Okay. I was about to say, I know where... I know what the name is. You just have to give me a second to look at the map. <laughs> Anyway, keep going. Yes. Oh no, I think I think we could we could ask Harshnag Harsh. how to guide us toward this giant's keep. Uh, they, I remember somebody saying something about uh, Gorna or Cairnsmore. If that means anything, I just know it's very far away. <clears throat> yeah, we're stopping at Cairnsmore. Um. Uh, and then we'll go on, but we, we're definitely stopping there. For yeah, sure. Yes, I, I don't think we're going to, to Gorna just yet. Gorna is... There's a lot going on there. Bit on, bit on the what, old man? You just mentioned Gorna. I, I don't think we're, we're going there just yet. Oh, no, no. I just mentioned what I heard. Something about Gorna. Oh, Gorna? Yeah. I heard something about, what was it, Richmond? Is that... Cairn, Cairnsma, Cairnsmore? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong place. I'm looking at a map as Ellie Wick pulls out a map conveniently. I just forget what the places are named because I don't have my notes right in front of me. Do you, do you need me to give you names? Please. Okay. So there was a... No I'm just going to copy and paste it into the thing. I appreciate you. While, Cat, while for the Ellie love is... of all things, no, why do you have to be on me no right game. now? No. While Ellie is looking at the map, uh, Lawrence is going to turn to Colin. So wait a minute. So so there was there was news from Gorna. Uh, he pulls out like an, a letter. I scrawled some uh, uh, notes. Uh, let's see. Lawrence uh, is heavily invested now. Additionally, if you have the opportunity to reconnoiter uh, Gorna or Cairnsmore on your way to the mountain, even better, there's rumors of resistance group in each place. We'd like to know more if possible. Meanwhile, the army will be moving to consolidate the uh, gains you've made in the next week, but don't wait for us to move out. If all goes well on your next mission, meet us at Pregmere with a report. I know. Confusing. I say we go to Cairnsmore. Yes. 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 That's as literally as soon as possible. All right. Well, let's go. And he gets up on Anias and turns Anias's wings 
unfurl. Everyone ready? Well, we should we should stop by Pippin and get some supplies. It's gonna be quite the quite the trek. Even with our orcs. I don't know if we can we should get enough supplies for all of them. We're bringing them all? Of course we're bringing them all! <laughs> well, why don't we ask them if they want to go before we just assume that they're coming? Why home? are we moving with a considerably large force that might draw attention? You might imagine that we're going to eventually reach a place that is incredibly fortified. And then we'll send we'll send missive back. We'll just have them to be ready. Because it's time to plan. Fine. Very well. So, judging on this map, uh, Lawrence will Lawrence will know that Gorna is on the way to to Canesmore, So Lawrence won't say anything. <laughs> truth. Truth. Hmm. Not okay. both of you, but I heard I heard both of those names pop up, and it seemed both of you perk up. Any particular interest with those towns? Is that where you're from, perhaps? And Ellie, what kind of gets this very like far away look in her eyes? Yeah, that's where that's where I live. It's where my family's from. Wait. There's more. Karen's more is a gnomish town. Yes. I'm a gnome. So how tall are the buildings? Are they like my height? Do they, are they taller? They're mostly how does that underground. Work? They're like hill? Correct me if I'm wrong about like gnome houses, but aren't they like a little bit underground, like hobbit holes almost? And Cairnsmore itself is entirely underground. Um, which is one of the reasons it was more easily defensible. Uh, it's more of a, dwar- it, it resembles more of a dwarvish city than a general, like, gnomish mercantile city. Um, it's, uh, heavily into mining and, and smelting and things like that. And so it's, we're they just confident. built underground. Yeah. Yeah. My well, understanding, if you enter the threshold, you are immediately shrunken down to gnome size. That's... Since I am already gnome size, I don't know. However, that could be perfectly. No, I yeah. think you're taller than most gnomes. Th- that that's 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 where I draw the line. I, I don't fuck with magic. Not even the divine power of Luthic that has blessed your journey thus far. I'm atheist. There is no mark of theology upon me. I will baptize you. One day, you and your beast. <laughs> I will have to be incredibly drunk. Or better yet, we could try our hand at breeding. It is a good industry for such creatures. Well, um... I'm sure there's not much difference. You know, orcs, griffins. I'm sure it works the same. <laughs> oh, oh, griffin. Right, okay. Nice. I was confused. All right. About what? I thought you wanted to breed me. Oh, no, I don't think anybody oh, I don't that. Want that. <laughs> oh, no. mm. I wouldn't want that at all. Oh, that's in my mind now. Great. Wonderful. Mm. All so right, then. Uh, I... Yes, yes, you had asked. And yes, I, I am from, from Gorna. You know, it's the, the capital and, and all. So, you know. Mm. By all means. Most of the, the knights are, are from. By all means, we should stop in there. Give me a chance to visit home before. Well, well the thing about Gona is that he's. Rock, it's... Is, it, is it possible to edit uh, Rolf's token to give him like anime eyes and like a blush? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. okay. Not going there. We are not going there. <laughs> Sir Lawrence. <laughs> I'm going to wait a second. For the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was saying things that make 
makes a lot of sense. So, uh, you were, Gorna is taken over by bad guys, is where you were going. Yes, yeah, yeah. So the thing about Gorna is that I was under the impression it was completely taken over. And, and so to hear about resistance uh, is, is, is quite bolstering to, to me. I, I, I can only hope that, that I might know some of them. Mm-hmm. Well, it's certainly bolstering to have your town not be a flattened mass graveyard, certainly. At Good this, news to see that. You see Ellie's like color go totally like pale. Like, yeah, I, I really hope that's not to how Kane's more, Prince more is. They won't even send any scouts to Politulov. They think there's nothing there. So I seriously doubt you could pulverize a town that's underground any more than it already is. You could dig it up. I'll just wow. wait till you see. It's Giant glorious. moles, I've seen them. The dire moles. Well, it'll be certainly be good to have allies close to where we're going. Hope I'm sorry, are you colorblind? Do you, do, is green outside of your your range of color? I meant no disrespect to your, your orcs performed wonderfully. It's just having people who know the mountains and know the area will certainly be a benefit for us. I'm sorry, are you, do you not see this tall man here who is three stories high and taller than any mountain I've seen? Who knows <laughs> these mountains? I do. You, I'm, I'm just giving you a hard time. This is funny. I like oh, raising my voice. It's only good to have Frost Giant with us. And... Right. No offense, Harshnag. I feel like I have seen mountains as big as you and bigger. There are mountains larger than me. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. But to be fair, everything's larger than Ellie. Yes, that is also correct. You're very small. I am. I still, no, no, contend, I still contend no. she is taller than most gnomes. So, Lady Ellie, we pick up <laughs> Sir Bacon and we go. Sir Bacon! <laughs> oh. Yes. yes. All right. So we have a plan. The plan is to go back to Pippin's Bowery mm-hmm. and yes. then make our way to Gornikard's Moor, Grugner. Which one do we know we're going first? Should check. Should we go by... Leave it up to you. The two. Do I get to kill something? Uh, there probably be chances to kill things all the way there. Either one. All right, we're going to go to Gorna. Agreed. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Yes. Is- all right. And we are dropping the orcs off at Pippin's Bowery. They are not coming with. Is that oh, correct? Got th- mm. There was some confusion about that. I need y'all to decide. I say we ask the orcs what they would prefer. I mean, they're soldiers, so they should be doing what they are ordered. Crumpin. Crump. They're they're crumping? We likes to crump. Ah. So... Knock skulls. Void. All right. Roll. Blood. Yes. Yes. Apparently, you're not the only Rolf. Sorry, other Rolf. <laughs> there are multiple Rolfs. When I'm in the company of other Rolfs, you must call me by Rolf Hunden. That way, <laughs> they, they know the difference. Are all our orcs named Rolf? Is that how no. it goes? No. Okay. Rolf Hunden. Rolf Hunden. Rolf Hunden. Hunden. That is Rolf Homerson. <laughs> Oh, Ralph. I think home. you've got it, sir. Like home dinner. I don't know all that much about uh, the orc leadership hierarchies, and I and I wanted to know: uh, Are you the leader, or do they have another one? Or no, I am by no means not the leader. So, who should we be be talking to? I merely advise. I am that which breathes new life into the tribe. I guide its birth and death. Colin goes up to the other Rolf. Which one of you is the war chief? 
Uh, that one. It's kind of the biggest one. You, that's, big one. You're front and center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. What's up? What, 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 what? Because our gnome would love to know your input. Would you rather come with us or would you rather stay, train, and prepare to fight? You be crumping. We be crumping. We be crumping. You want to go crump something? All right. If you want to go crump something. Yeah. (laughs) Here's a map. Go to Cairnsmore. Make sure that the gnomish population is safe. Right, you want us to go to Cairns Mall? That's far away. How are we going to eat? Well, do you know how to hunt? Oh, we know how to hunt. Go for oh, it. Oh, you want us to take? Can we not steal the corpses <laughs> we have left we in our wake at this time? Take. Yes. No, 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 no. No taking. You can <laughs> conscript. You can conscript. Huh? But you must leave them food for themselves. Take only what you need. Foraging, hunting, no raiding. Especially not Cantmore. No raiding. Somebody make a persuasion check because uh, oh, yeah. orcs gotta be please, orc and oh, please someone 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 who's orc. Wait, let me see. Let me see I what will, my stats are. I will gladly yeah. please. I'll, I'll do it. Please. <laughs> oh, I got a six. Uh. Let me go all the way down. I got a two. <laughs> Oh my god! Just the most Colin roll ever. Oh yeah, that is god. that is the most Colin thing that could ever happen. Can I? Okay. Um, can I cast a spell? Would hey, Colin needs to tell me what Colin's going to tell me on his big old persuasion roll at two. Sure. Uh, you can take uh, only what you need. Uh, he oh. punches you. Punch him. He's okay. <laughs> good, good. But we know we walk, we ride. Uh, uh, Tell you what. What? Do you see this big man who's taller than any mountain you've ever seen? He ain't taller than any mountain I ever seen. <laughs> do you do you notice him? If you see more, yeah, he large. Yeah, yeah, he big. Kind of like him. You can yeah. ride them. Oh. Okay. Well. Yes. So, I'm I'm rethinking. Right. <laughs> I'm rethinking here. <sighs> and you, orc tribe, you're so ambitious, and you're really you're yeah. ready for some. Crum- yeah. Was it crumping. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. And you're yeah, you're very vicious. It looks like you're a strong tribe, and you Rough. really worked out right. that teamwork football. Yeah. Um, Mm-hmm. So, how about if you just go to Cairns more? I feel like there won't be as much crumping. It'll uh, be boring. You're gonna uh, be with a small city of like gnomes uh, that are that high. Uh, so it doesn't sound very fun, does it? No. Uh, yes. Um. So, how about this? What? We will go. We will go off, and we will find. The biggest, baddest giants for you uh, to be crumping heads with. And until then, I want all of you to be practicing the best fighting, crumping things you can. And you might even be able to fight a giant even bigger than Harshnag. You want us to not crump? No, crump with the football, you fool! Hold hold on just a moment. I do agree that it is absurd to send them on their own. There's lots of words. I I think that your people, the gnomes, won't understand that they're not invading and then they'll attack and it'll be bad for everyone. Certainly. I do think that... The gnomes attack? I I do... (sighs) I do think that it might behoove us to send, send them to the to the outskirts and 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 mm-hmm. have them have them do some raiding, but have them do raiding mm-hmm. of towns right. that are already yeah. in in infested with giants. Yeah, with giants. Yeah, and yeah, right. Yeah, like a few very simple parameters, like no yeah. no killing of humans, but kill all the giants they want. Kill giants, not humans. Yeah, yeah. Yes, grab them. Gnomes, uh, elves, 
either. Uh, only giants. And, and dwarves. And giants. And dwar- no dwarves either. Only giants. Right. Right. right, 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 right. Out of context, is there any specific <laughs> place we can send them that we know is uh, giant invaded? Like any towns? Mike's way a history check. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. I'll do that too. Sorry, to I'm a method want... orc actor. Uh, let's see. Yeah, like you could send him to Oitmeet, uh, for sure, or or Grasmere. Oitmeet's actually a tower, sort of strategic y bridge place. Um, it's not actually oh. a town. It's more of a. Uh, it does have a town attached to it, but it's primarily known because it's at the confluence of three rivers and controls the bridges over those rivers. And it's very likely held by a bunch of giants. It is also strategically very nice. Yes. Okay. Well. I like that. I feel like we can send them there. And also, um It's got good strategy. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's perfect and it's got yeah. a lot of giants. Should we yeah. send somebody with them? Um just uh to help not help, because you don't need help. We don't need no heomates. GM question. What? What was the name of that guy that I found out was a deserter? Oh, no. Oh, Pippin. Was it Pippin himself? Yeah. yeah, it was Pippin. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We still have right. a talk. Yeah, you, yeah, you should. Right. Well, if they're working with us, they shouldn't need any supervision. No. No, they definitely don't. We are looking for you actually to teach the art of crumping to some puny. No. No. Right? No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. And this giant griffin are going to crump all over you. I ain't scared of your poncy griffin. And I grab him by Uh-oh. the tusk. I and slam uh-huh. him into uh-huh. my pauldron. Uh-huh. Oh. I'm going to roll intimidating. <laughs> okay, do it uh, with advantage, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, uh, 21. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Uh, uh, You're gonna go there. Uh, no raiding. No raiding. You're to kill giants. You can have everything the giants have. Get, You're gonna make kill giants. And if I hear that you are raiding, causing mass hysteria, right? Nice and I, yeah, will disembowel you. What? And paint your boys with your guts. Oh, that is very nice. It isn't. I'm not nice. Uh, okay. And then he breaks all the dust. Uh, uh, oh! He like collapses to the ground. Two other orcs kind of like pull him away. Are we hundred percent sure there's an orc under that armor? I'm going to keep this as a souvenir. And he walks uh, off the tusk. Uh, <sighs> I think he make he can you seem to love what they do. That was shit. Lawrence has just gone like white faced. Oh, um, like... sir, that was terrifying. Says Philbert. If they threw lightning, I'd probably be a little bit scared, but they're not as scary as cloud giants or storm giants. Girl Flumden is, is is redder than ever. Like anger red or embarrassed red? A different kind of red. <laughs> that was that that was scary as heck. Yo, you are you are orc material. And uh he would like to approach and say, Are you sure you're not half orc? I'm pretty sure. But you never know. Okay. I think I want to make sure, because as you can sense, this tribe doesn't make the best of decisions. I don't know. I I plan on seeing how they do. And if they fail, they die. 
Mm. Definitely at least a quarter orc. <laughs> Definitely at least a quarter. At least. Lawrence is just going to turn to Lady Madeline. <laughs> that went against it. Every ounce of, of protocol and chivalry and, and every sort of rule, and it worked. I think, I think him and the orcs communicate on a similar level. I think he's found his people. At least a quarter. Ch- chivalry doesn't work it with somebody who just wants to fight. Like I said. Nice add this on to the back of that. I approve. Th- this isn't. This isn't nobility. This isn't court. This is war. This is war. This is a bunch of sh- uh, soldiers debating on what to do. Not a bunch of generals stroking themselves. Yes, I don't understand why they take such good care of their beards. But easily, they could be ripped off in battle. Because they never fight. There's no need to cut the beards. This is how you know a brave dwarf. Lawrence is just kind dwarf. of like fist. That's why dwarves are <laughs> scary. Especially a dwarf coming at you with two hand axes, a mohawk, and no armor. Man, we'll just look at look at um look at it's him my favorite say, kind of dwarf. And just say you did go toe to toe with the giant. You have no need to worry. Don't worry. Don't Wait. It's okay. A violent uh, toe-to-toe <laughs> with a giant? Sir Lawrence did. Let's see. Sir Lawrence yeah. did. Who? Oh, wonderful. L- Lawrence has a big old beard. Yeah. <laughs> so. it's very, yeah, it's very man. It's it's very well right. taken care of. I kind of feel like I look like Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a plan. We are sending the orcs off to... Oit me to secure the river crossings. Yes. Will you all make a quick drop at Pippin's Bowery to return some humans and some refugee types and your yeah. uh, the rangers who were with you and then head off to Gorna? Is that correct? I'm yes. still sad none of my tribe females are ready to give new <laughs> life to Luthix. Great. Patience honor. bears fruit. Literally. Literally, in this case, indeed. Dang it! I, I have plans. Dang, damn it! <laughs> Rolf's on that hundred baby challenge. I know, dude. <laughs> I, I, get, I get new brownie points when you reach that. Packing up the camp, the travel is relatively easy for you all as this conversation occurs. Um, you get the, the, the team of refugees together, you get your scouts together, and you move off. It's only about uh, three quarters of a day's walk now that you don't have to worry about a giant presence in the region to make it to Pippin's Bowery as you can head straight there. Um, and as you make it to, uh, back into the woods, deep into the pine boughs, uh, you find again the signs of Pippin's Bowery. Uh, There, underneath the pines, you see the rolling sort of land that's been shaped by hand, but hard to tell that it was so in order to keep safe a group of refugees who have made their home here for the last three years. Uh, A trapdoor opens up about 20 feet off to your left, and a guard pops out. Goes, oi, you're back. Yes, we're successful. Town, the giants have been driven away from the town. We have some noise from from there. Well, come on in. I'm sure the boss will want to talk to you. Yes, sooner the better. Uh, looks like you've got a bunch of people with you. Yep. Wait. <laughs> better the boss come out and talk to you. I think. Whatever works for you. Be right back. Uh, and about ten minutes later, uh. Pip will come out looking old and haggard and like deeply congested as always. And, uh, <laughs> right. All right. Well, you made it. Yes. Good. With, with the help of your men. Oh, that's good. They performed admirably. <laughs> no, I know. They're quite well trained. Um, who's the extra people? 
refugees from the keep and the adjoining town. If you wouldn't mind, could you take care of them as well? Uh, I mean, we could barely feed who we got now. The town has, the, well, the town has been cleared off. Maybe it's some plies there. Uh, the giants left quite a bit down there. Yeah. So, well, you want us to go back down there? I mean, the, the giants are going to come back, right? No, they're not. So, not for right now. Command is on their way. They'll be here in less than a week's time. Really? Yes. We're going to see a short person army and not just a big person army. Giants yes. Well, that's good news. That is. I guess if they're, they're coming soon, we can take them in. Lawrence is going to very pointedly look at Pippin and kind of try to stone face himself and crack his knuckles. You will take them in. No questions asked. Because I'm about to go to Gorna and meet up with my contacts there. And I can or I cannot tell them who I found here. So. Look. You will take them. You will take them and you will not just discuss it with me. You will take them and you will take care of them. It is the least you can do for what you have done. I'm confused. For what I have done. What did he do? For the past three years, I have kept these people safe. I have kept them alive in a world that wants them dead. Good, and now you keep them all safe. Skip into my forest and I seek to give me orders? That's awfully presumptuous. I'm out coming to Sir Lawrence. I'm like, this is unlike you. What what's going on? Why are you suddenly hostile with uh, our friend here? He's a deserter. And unless he wants me to tell all of our commanding officers about it. Tell them. Let them string me up for what I've done. I did what I had to do. I wouldn't have done it different a second time. Colin whistles. Are you taking them or not? I'm taking them. Good. Now leave. We're taking the pig. (laughs) (laughs) Allie is like, Sir Bacon. (laughs) Fine. (laughs) We're gone. We're gone. I promise. Okay. Pig comes. Sir Bacon. Uh, I give him a big hug. uh, You look so, you've grown so much since I was gone. And more snorfling ensues. <laughs> now we're going to go liberate the rest of our people while you stay comfortably here. Sleep well. I'll sleep fine, self-righteous bastard. Deserting. Uh... Colin is going to take his halberd and hook Pippin as he tries to turn and he's going to try to bring him real close. He draws his sword, and you feel it up against your stomach. Old person. <laughs> no, that's enough of that. We can just leave. Very well. No threatening. One. No, no I mean, I'm not, 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 not two, not to Rolf. Two. Boy. Colin. Colin, that's Let enough. Him Let him go. Let him. We'll be off. Um, no. I'll go ahead and just grab his sword <laughs> by the blade. Uh, do you want to uh, make a constitution saving throw? I'm gonna. Sh- oh, really? He did, yeah. Did poison. And I'm gonna shove him away. Constitution, thankfully, oh went up. Oh boy! Oh boy! So as you grab it, you realize, wow, that's a really sharp. That's like a magically. That's intensely sharp, and you grab it like you think you would be able to grab any normal sword, wearing you know leather gloves or whatever. You kind of, of lightly around it as you feel your fingers separate from your hand on this plus three magical sword with some other neat things as well that a marshal would carry into combat. <laughs> ah! And you start bleeding heavily. That was his fault, not mine. No more blood needs to be shed. Walk away now. Apologize. Let's Apologize. Go. Let's leave it where it is. 
We apologize. Let's go. Now. No, 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 not, not us, him. He's a failure. Now. You, uh, Madeline, you realize this before anyone else. Um, there are like 14 archers in a half circle around you now. Yeah, um, Matt Ma will just point at all of them. So we need to leave now. Just let it go. He's hiding behind. He'll live head. here. Of course he is. He's a coward. He left. He deserted the people who wanted his protection, needed his protection. I right. realize that. But we need to complete our mission. No, no, yes, fighting. yes, we will complete our no. mission. Fail once more, and I will string your entrails around every threshold in this camp. And he takes his halberd and he puts it by his side. Please hold walk. one moment. I cast Warding Bond just in case on uh... mm -hmm. Yeah, I cast Warding Bond. That cure wins us for later once we're traveling for <laughs> just just in case. Just in case. Well I kind I'm of expected that really would quick. just be a, a threaten and we'd walk mm. away. <laughs> I forgot that Colin likes to yeah. Charisma seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. So, I mean, arrows start to fly at this point. There's no way he could not. He can't. He can't. There's no yeah, way. No, he can't. Like, yeah. He. You. You have legitimately picked a fight, and I can't. Yeah. Uh, arrows start. Everyone needs to roll Whoa. initiative. I'm not oh, having no. just reading it, sorry. Oh no. It's just oh okay. No, I I am casting that. I mean, uh, hey, we get a plus three sword out of this if we win. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> if we have any sort of reaction time, I would I would like Lawrence to just sort of storm in between Colin and Pippin and scream out, Enough! And cast emotions oh uh okay what i want you to do is make an opposed initiative roll with um uh opposed initiative roll with both colin and pippin 12 um let me double check on some things Do I have any feet? Roll to feet. Okay. Schmoop. So, uh, Colin, you get to go first. You I mean, you you get the impression he is about to signal these guys to fire on you, and you see uh, Lawrence trying to interpose herself between the two of you at the same time. But you get to go first. My fingers are gone. So as soon as I notice. I'm about to signal. I'm going to enter a rage. Okay. Oh. And I didn't know you could do that. Yes. Yeah. One point in Barbarian gives me the ability to rage. Fuck. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to just attack him with the halberd. Because he's like, he's five, he's like within normal melee range. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Halberd plus two. Does a 15 hit? It will not. Okay. Um, I am grabbing your peeps. This was unexpected. This is unexpected. This is unexpected. Just like last time. Just like last time. This No, no. I think last time we expected giants. That's not one. We didn't one. expect how many giants. Okay, so an 18. It does not mm. hit Oh, Jesus. At all, right, all of so. this, can Ellie just start walking away? 
Now I'm going to roll initiative. Yeah, anybody who wants to can walk away. Or uh, So everybody, I am going to put you on a map. Jesus! Uh, we are going to take a quick break as I set up the map, because I did not expect this to happen, but I also want it to go down as fairly as humanly possible. My um, fingers are gone! So uh, let us go to break as I set up uh, a map for the combat at Pippin's Bowery, which, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting, but that's why that's why we play, ladies and gentlemen, to see what happens. So we'll be back in just a moment as I set all this up. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Ahem. Okay, we're coming back. As the party has made an enemy in that enemy's home, surrounded by that enemy's friends, we go now to the top of combat with Madeline, who, just for those of you now tuning in, uh, we are at Pippin's Bowery. Pippin's Bowery was the place where the party hung out and was, like, nice to people before uh, they went to Peregrine's, or where the, before they went to Pregmer Keep. Uh, it turned out that the guy who has been running Pippin's Bowery for the last three years is a, a marshal who deserted and instead worked here to keep all of these refugees safe for the last three years. This was distasteful to the party, and so the party has essentially picked a fight with him uh, mm -hmm. by threatening him with a halberd and to string his guts around the whole forest that he's been protecting for the last three years, and so he is ordering his archers to fire on them, even though he has a halberd stuck directly in his face. Uh, me, but... For a second, let me uh, get a ball up on yeah. there. One second. Uh, so that's a 16 for Avala. Uh, I don't see her. She's right. Turn. She's. Oh, right. I didn't see her on there. I just added her. There we go. And then Filbert is a 20. Nicely done. <laughs> uh, because of the way this rocked out. Yeah. Uh, and because it doesn't meddle in, it didn't feel like you were the aggressor. Right. Mm -hmm. It feels like this is essentially between. Yeah. Colin and Pippin, with Lawrence trying to interpose. So mm -hmm. if you would not mind, mm -hmm. I would like to hold your action until after Lawrence goes. Okay, yes. Okay. Just for story, right? That sounds fine. Okay. And the same with Avala. So mm -hmm. Colin has gone, and his strikes have bounced off. You see, as you hit him, the rags actually covered his armor, which, as it starts breaking apart, is this incredibly well cared for... Marshall's armor of Joff. Uh, but it is indeed uh, Lawrence's go. Okay. Lawrence is going to whip out his uh, his fine tuning fork yeah. as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Rush in front of Colin. And cast suggestion. And that is a wisdom saving throw. Yes, will it'll okay. be a plus two. But I'm uh, I'm gonna say what I, I say. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. You are going to stop this right now. We are not here to fight him. We are here to fight giants. And I'm casting. Okay. Suggestion. Just making sure that being so in a ring a, doesn't... 18, it'll be to uh, an 18 wisdom. Oh, that tuning fork. <sighs> okay. Wisdom save? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. God damn it. How do you react to that? God damn it. Because that's going to influence what happens next, right? I grab the tuning fork and I said, you, you should be just as angry at him as I am for being a lousy failure of a soldier and a despicable deserter. And he tosses the, uh, uh, tuning fork onto the ground and then just kind of like, not forcefully, not like, you know, like trying to knock him down but trying to push him out of the way more like a little out of my way shove uh, how do i roll to have him not take that out of my hands like do we have like an opposed yeah i mean so you that. don't have it you you don't have an action to actually take it out of uh lawrence's hand right now but you can like narratively just push it right as long okay. as lawrence is cool with it being still held mm-hmm 
I leave that to you two to decide because this is essentially PvP, and so we have to run it as fairly as possible. You can oh, like yeah, narratively just, like yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I move it out of my face. I was about to say I can see you just like shoving it out of your her face, his face. Okay, so it then becomes Madeline and Avala's go and Filbert's. All right, um, Madeline. I still had my movement. You do so. still have your movement. So my movement would have been to turn around and get up on Tanias. Okay. All right, Aval, um, so Madeline and Aval are going to move over here. She tells them to get next to her. And then Madeline is going to cast Windwall around this these six squares. Uh, hang on, I got to pop that out there. There we go. Uh, which six squares? Can you, oh, here? Okay. Yeah, I, I crudely. Just around you? Yeah. Okay. And I just look at Pippet, like, I don't care what you did. Actually, I do. I think you're the scum worth from letting, from being an A deserter. We just want to leave. If they keep going, I'll kill him where it stands. We need to leave. We can't do this here we are here to fight the giants we're trying to save those people in your refugee area we just want to leave make a persuasion check with disadvantage rot. especially with the i don't care if you're out make a persuasion check with disadvantage yeah okay that's not gonna yeah. I mean, you could roll lower, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you yeah, did! Could roll lower. Nicely done! Mm -hmm. uh, is Avala holding action? She'll hold action until something looks hostile that's going to attack any of us. Uh, okay. So, Windwall, does that prevent the character from moving out of it? Yes. And how tall is it? 15 feet tall. 15 feet tall. Let me look at my spell. Um, Actually, let me make it. Actually, I'll make it a U. Like okay. 15. So it's going to just be like... I need to get rid of this color. This All right, there we go. Nice, visible red. Okay. Let me see. Where's that got? Ah, there it is. Uh, red. Ten. God, why did it turn green again? I hate that, dude. I hate it. <laughs> there we go. So, ten. Thirty. There we go. Yeah, so just, yeah, just ignore this five foot. Okay, yep. Uh, anything else? And then just like, this is your warning. If they release their arrows, any one of us, you die here. Your story ends here. Uh, and is that all you have to say? He just stares at you. Yeah. Call them off. I'll call them. Uh, okay. Uh, is Avala doing anything? She's just gonna ready arrows, like she's gonna be ready to shoot at something if okay. something's hostile. Like probably him. On his go, he misty steps to here. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Filbert? Oh, I'm sorry. Filbert can also go. Indeed. Um, Filbert is just going to back Lawrence's <clears throat> play and uh, try to sort of. Make sure he's in a position to protect Abala if he needs to, but just sort of like look tough in the general direction of Colin. Oh, okay. I also tell Abala to like just hit the deck. She's going to be like prone as well. Okay. <sighs> he missed his yeah. steps to here. That's... Uh, and we'll take. I think Paladins at level 15 get three attacks. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they do. Okay. Takes three attacks against Nice. <clears throat> I get to choose. Okay. On him. Okay. Takes three attacks against the Nice Colin unit. With his Holy Avenger. Cool. And that's what that is. Yeah. Uh, 18. First attack. Miss. <laughs> Last one. Damn. Oh. That one does hit. Uh, so this is going to be plus 2d10. I actually have the damage on the Holy Avenger run when you touched it. So. Boink. Uh, so that will be 19 on whomever it goes to. I'll, I'll take it. All right. And then he will pop a smite on that as well for 5d6. Uh, using, I'm sorry, 4d6 using a level 4 spell. So it's an extra 18 points of damage. Okay. Hmm. And then, uh, well, they only have two targets. Really? Yeah. The archers go. <clears throat> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 90, 90. They don't have anything they can hit, really. Uh-huh. Uh, let's just do we'll just have them re come around this way for now because the only thing they can really do is this group here is going to fire a volley into the Cullen Nias group and then with four extra guys because they're not having this uh where did they go how do I keep losing them oh there you are pop out Okay, so that is how many? Uh, two, three ranged attacks each. Okay, so. Um, would all of them, uh, because these eight traveled with you, I feel like it's fair to do this. Only three of them are actually going to fire. The rest have seen what you have done and are going, seen what you all have done as a group and are convinced that this is a sham and that y'all shouldn't be killing each other and you're all essentially on the same side despite your terrible words um so five of them are not going to attack only three of them are um so that's three these will be into colin nice you tell me how you want them to go uh first guy one two hold on three so let's he's see. just i think he misses all of them right yeah okay. he's gonna miss that, all of them. that guy one I do, I do I did uh, realize because it doesn't show up on D and D Beyond until you actually look at Rage. Uh, I yep. just wouldn't get the plus two attack to melee damage with strength weapons if I'm wearing uh, heavy armor. Yeah. Um, and I won't get the yeah I won't get I more really like stuff. crap. Okay, and that was those three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. All right, oh sorry. God. <laughs> oh boy. So first one's gonna hit. This is next guy. Second one's going to miss. And so it's going to be two hits from this guy here. They're resisted twice they are, because are he's resisted? raging. No, yes. once. Once? Then yes. I take... Okay. Because I'm in heavy armor. It's true. Okay. So... I really didn't get a chance to switch out armor when I took the level. Yeah. I wasn't really... Oh my god, my warding bond did nothing then. <laughs> So except it's eight you, and seven. Except give you, uh, it gave you plus one AC, by the way. Oh, 20. Well, one yeah. was a 23. Uh, yeah, it was a 23 bad. and a 22. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. And then, uh, so that was that guy. Next guy, one. So I'm looking for a 20 AC. Is that correct? Yeah. Two, three. Uh, that's going to be two more hits. So the last one was 13 points of damage. Uh, I'm sorry, 15 points of damage between the two attacks. This one I take is. That Okay, uh, this is 22 points of damage. 12 and 10. 12 and, and 10. 10's going to go to Nias. And 12 will go to... Uh, Colin. And a 20 just misses, right? Because you're a 21. And no, then I'm this guy... Oh, you're a 20, so one hit. I'm at 19, 
base. And oh, then okay. plus one. Plus because one. Of you buy. Got you. Uh, so eight piercing from this brother right here, and then this guy. One, two, three. Uh, we'll crit once and miss twice. Four, seven points of damage. I mean, they're archers, right? Like, they're plinking. Next one, and last one on this side. One, two, three. All miss. Look at that. Uh, okay. This guy. Yes? Um, one, two. Let me get through these attacks, okay? Yeah, Unless you have something that... In, can you... Those. Okay. So it's going to be two attacks, one of which is a crit. Uh, this is uh, this is all colonized at this point. Um, so first one is eight. Second one is ten. Okay. And then next one. One, two, three. Uh, this will be one hit for uh, nine. And then last one. One, two, three. Uh, will be one hit for 12. And done. I need to know how much total damage that was. Uh, 12, 21, 20, 31, 39, 49, 50, 56, 64, uh, 74, 84, 85, 86, uh, 94, 100, and, uh, 1, uh, 100, that's 101. 101, uh, so I... Do we not, hang on, did that count or not count? Pippin. All of these attacks happened after essentially on the same initiative. Yeah, and my warding bond uh, lets me take half that. Okay, so it's 100 221, 229, 230, 232 total points of, or I'm sorry, 132 total points of damage. Oh, wait, uh, all on Colin? Yes. Okay, so 132 is. Halved. Halved. Would be 66, right? 66. But actually, let me double check because that is warding bond. 132 divided by 2. Yeah, 66. Hey, I can do math. And I should say, <laughs> as this is going, we are proudly sponsored by the following. Because I forgot to say this at the beginning. Uh, of course, our patrons and subscribers and uh, all of our games are powered by Roll20, the world's leading virtual tabletop. And now the Greyhawk channel is officially supported by Roll20. And you can try it out for free on Roll20.net. And of course, we are supported by Heroic Maps, our official battle map sponsor. You can check out their library of more than 300 maps on drive through RPG. And of course, Tabletop Loot. You can go to tabletoploot.com and enter Greyhawk on, in the coupon code box and get 15% off your dice order. And last but not least, our Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers can join us in our private Discord server and get coupon codes to Rue Inc. and Cantrip Candles. Love you. Go. <laughs> okay, that was how much damage? Half? 132 uh, halved to 66. 66. Okay. Yeah. 66. I'm still up. Okay. Good. So that uh, was their go. Uh, it is Ellie Wick's go. Ellie Wick, um, on second thought, is not going to go anywhere. She, I don't think she was. Um, on second thought, she's going to be right here, like in this clearing within sight of everybody. Mm -hmm. She's literally just going to plop down, sit down with Sir Bacon and just watch. Okay. With her, with her like chin in her hand like this. Philbert. He's going to hold his action. Do is do what? Um, Lawrence is not fighting, so yeah, so Gilbert's not fighting. Gilbert's just gonna okay. kind of wait for Lawrence to give him some sort of go, and Lawrence has not done so. Okay, uh, Madeline, Madeline's gonna hold. Avala is then will also hold. Yes, was yeah. I skipped? I think I was skipped. Oh, uh, where are you? 
Um, what is your uh, what is your initiative? Why don't I have you on my thing? My initiative is one. Let me go ahead and roll. Okay, let's have you go now because nothing else has happened that is not doable. Oop. Yeah, so I put it on there. Just make sure it's one. Okay, it is. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast Control Water. Uh huh. And I want to make this stream start yeah. flowing fast down river. Okay. And I'm going to tell everyone, get into the water. We're leaving. And I'm going to use 60 feet of movement to, yeah. I mean, uh, let me cast the spell first. Where did I put it? Oh, my God. I've got it right here if you need it. Which one are you no, going to no, do? No, no. I, just, I just had to cast it so okay. the, the spell like yeah. did its thing. And that is, control water is an action, I believe. So how far can I get? I can get right You can get there. 60. Although you're going to, you uh, if you dash, oh no, control water is your action, yes. So you can essentially, you can get here because you have to run around. Oh, this five foot square is in here, right? This one? Uh, Man, I don't know, maybe. So mm -hmm. I would have to. Oh, just to ignore that last five feet. Yeah, okay. So you're okay, good yeah. to run straight to there. Yep. Okay, yeah, I run straight to there. Okay, uh, interestingly, oh, and uh, interestingly, the, uh, he does not use his reaction. Pippin does not use his reaction to attack you. He lets you go by. All right, thank you. Uh, I, I would flick him off, but I'm missing the, the fingers for that hand. Right. Oh, man. Oh. Colin. There's nothing I can do. But Colin mean? is not going to uh, back out, right? So uh, I mean, like, he has a wisdom thirteen. It's not like he's you know would not know a a losing battle when he saw one. It's just that he is stubborn. But I, to me, as your DM, right, I think you can play his wisdom higher, right? And maybe this is a place where he learns a lesson. Right, and I hate I, to say I, it like that because that sounds pompous or whatever, but no, maybe no, this no, is like... No, no, I know yeah. where this is, I, yeah. But yeah. like, in this mindset, he's not going to back down. How about this? Will it change if uh, Ellie Wick, so she's sitting kind of in the back, she's going to um, kind of shout out, I'll be here when Nias is killed for this. Just let me know. If you need me, please continue. I need you. I'm dying. We're running away. Get in the water and let it carry us downstream at high speed. It is rushing very quickly. Uh, he, Nias is going to take off. Okay. Um, we're going to go. Good job, Nias. Well, I'm on Nias, so. Yeah, he'll take his attack of opportunity on you as you escape. That's fine. Yeah, uh, you do, can do, play do. nice as wisdom rather than Collins. A time when you had to brew up a very quick. So it's actually plus. Yeah. More than I. Uh, so 19, 20, 1, 21. Mm. Because it's plus the Holy Avenger bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's going to be this plus 3 plus 3d10. Um, so it's 10 plus 2d. Sorry, 2d10. On whomever you like, uh, 17 total. Okay. 20 total, because you said it was plus three. Oh, yeah, it is plus three. You were correct. Thank you. Okay. Had this nice social encounter today, team. All of you viewers out there know that I had planned for something entirely different and am impressed that the, the commit, and I will say this, uh, can I just say real quick, the commitment to character is incredibly impressive, um, and I love it. And as a DM, I love it. I think it's awesome. But it's also kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eh, I got I got a folio of characters. So. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna charge him. So oh, he's gonna, okay. We're gonna fly back, and then Colin's going to uh, charge in on him. Yep. Uh, I'll let you DM roll. Do have do I still have my inspiration for two sessions ago since I missed? No, or? it's been for oh oh you mean the the DM given inspiration? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Okay. Um, what does 22 get me? 22 will hit every day of the week. Okay. Um, 18. Okay. okay. 
And then I'm on advantage due to being on Nias, and he is smaller than Nias. He is. Yeah. So 25. Hits. Oh, I'm going to action surge. Hold on. Let me, sure, let me sure. just, yeah. So charge and uh, action surge. Yep. Um, nine. Nine. Okay. Crit. Uh, crit. Uh, 15. 15. Okay. And 18. 18 misses. misses. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. That's, is that it? Yeah. That's three attacks. Plus one for the action search, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, just making sure. It's one charge attack, action surge, take an attack action, I get three attacks. Ah, yes, because the charge is a full round action, but that you get... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Lawrence? Okay. Um. And Lawrence, you notice at this point, civilians, just regular refugees, have started poking their heads out and watching. Yep. Yep. Okay, Lawrence is going to... That green no longer means anything, correct? It's just the... What was it? The red? The red, no, the still red is the wind wall. wall. Yep. Yeah. All right. Lawrence is going right up uh, to call in. I don't think you heard me the first time when I said we are not doing this right now. Calm emotions. Okay. That'll be a charisma DC 18. That's fine. Perfect. Also on Pippin. Also on Pippin? Charisma save DC 18? Yes. That fails. I'm not going to use my, my DM oh inspiration. Boy. Wow. I mean, he's a paladin. That's fine. He's not really my target anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has a 13 bonus. He's a paladin. He was a happy accident if, if i got him yeah okay uh, i am okay i am a- attempting to suppress strong emotions within colin so colin this is going to be like the attack that misses right so narratively speaking since i missed my final attack yeah so he's going down and he's going to t- attempt to strike mm-hmm. pippin he's already mm-hmm. hit him through Times. he's feeling pretty good he's like i missed the first three i wasn't on nice but now me and him are going at it this fucking coward who's standing behind his fucking archers is going down that's what he's thinking yeah because he's like if he was real he would he would fight me one-on-one but he's using archers so that's what that's the way colin would think because okay. he i impugned his honor not the the ranger's honor yeah so that is a a fascinating that is that isn't yes that is a way that is a a perfectly valid way to think about it it is not the way pippin would think about it but it is a perfectly valid way to think about it and i like that you have that yeah um Um, so okay i it does seem that i can i can choose to make my target indifferent so i feel like that is what I, i would be trying to aim for just trying to calm Colin's shit when he misses so, shit. yeah he places the uh, very robotically he kind of gets rigid and he looks just like a little toy soldier and he looks down at Pippin and spits and says, you're not worth my time. And he just, him and Nia start to saunter off. Obviously, that's not what he was feeling, you know, three seconds ago. Yeah, three seconds, yeah. He was Uh, very, you know, heated. So I, this the spit was more like the, whoa, what the fuck? This guy was bloodthirsty. Insight roll. Uh, it is Pippin's go. Pippin looks at Sir Lawrence and goes, Get your people out of here and never come back again. 
You've got control of your beast. Go. Lawrence doesn't say anything. Looks back at Elliewick and Maddie. Maddie's gonna come up to um, Lawrence, kind of put, just kind of put like heavy hand on his shoulder. It's like, we need to leave now. We do. Thank that, you. That spell does not last very long, so we need to go before he gets angry again. I dive into the river. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like <laughs> Rob is the only one. <laughs> Okay, so unless anyone else is going to attempt to reignite this powder keg. And then I cast my line. Like, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, if Alleywick is the last to like, wal like waltz off, she'll probably call back to the archers or to the people that she recognizes that we went to the keep. Sorry about that. Bye. As she continues to walk. Yeah, Lawrence, it's a concentration spell, common motion. So Lawrence is, you know, concentrating on keeping mm -hmm. Colin. Colin. Oh, yeah, no. And he looks and like a little wind up clockwork it, soldier, it, it, the way that yeah. Nias is walking. And when, I think at this point, it's it, the, the spell affects Nias and. Uh, yeah. Narratively, I like it. Yeah. Narratively, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Just see, like, after that brief period, like, you just see May just walk away and just walk. She's not waiting for anybody. Yeah. Yeah, when, okay. when, everyone, when everyone has gone away from Pippin, Lawrence is just going to turn back. I do think pe keeping people safe is very important. I, I'm very sorry that that just happened. We'll talk later. Keep walking. Were you and looking back at Pippin or Maddie? I was looking back at Pippin. Okay. Oh. He just gives you a nod, and, blood and dripping and off his sword from hitting people. Up. Yeah. Me. <laughs> By <laughs> proxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh. our, she our scene shifts to 15 minutes later after a silent walk through the woods. I give you all a moment to recollect. That's probably only last one minute. So one our minute. Our scene shifts to one back. minute later <laughs> <laughs> during a silent and awkward walk through the woods. <sighs> and they're affecting you guys because I don't know what to do. <laughs> Please continue. Who's looking beat down? Uh, uh. I, I, uh, uh, Rolf looks at Colin and says, Did he get you as bad as he got me? Colin doesn't say anything. I haven't seen Matt. He, he just starts ripping arrows. Out and just dropping them. Oh, when you do that, uh, Rolf also groans, and you see hot red pocket marks where those arrows were on his uh, bare green flesh. <laughs> Wait, is that warding maneuver? That warding thing? Does that make us share damage? Yes. Do you reduce oh, damage no. for me? Oh, no. I do reduce damage for you, but guess what? You can only get resistance once, motherfucker. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's 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 the the drawback of me getting resistance is you take my half my damage. Yes. All right, that's nice. You get okay. resistance to all damage, including like magical, necrotic, divine. Oh, that's good. It's not just you know, oh, okay. bludgeoning and piercing. All right, right on. But I also take half that damage too. I just didn't know you would take a hundred and twenty-three damage. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pass a potion of greater healing to um, I don't need that potion. Rolf. Save it. Rolf, look at me. I cast heal. <laughs> That's nothing compared to And she's going to cast a healing spell on Colin. So, I don't know how many hit points got you, but you're I wanted to heal Colin. <laughs> Too bad. Out of 103 on Colin. 70 is healed. 70. Okay. Well, he was at 23. Uh, and out of, let's see, out of what? 68 on nice. He has 16 left, so. Oh my God. Can I split it up between the two of them? No, I, I already have 107. I just have 20 more. Heal does everybody in 60 feet. It's a boong. Oh, then oh. between the two of I us. I think so, have, isn't it? Yeah. 
No, Did it's only that? one person, right? Is it? Let what am I thinking out. of? I am thinking healing of... Word. Choose I'm thinking a of creature healing. within yeah, range. Yeah, you're right. I was yeah. thinking of healing word. Yeah, I don't know why. How did I confuse heal and healing word? One is like a six level spell. Okay, but yes, two people each. So I guess Nias and Colin, you both get 70 hit points back. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That'll put me in 93 and Nias is at full. Roll. I think that piece of shit had a sword worth puking at. Like shit stain. He's a coward. He's a deserter. The hothead. And not the good kind. At least the good kind can take a joke. Or some criticism. Let's just get to uh, Gorna. Lawrence doesn't say anything. Lawrence is just pissed walking. <laughs> Maddie's up ahead. No one's seen Maddie for a little while. I okay. I was about to say, I don't think Eliwick is going to go with you. She's just kind of going to stay where she's standing after she heard all that and just kind of stand with her hand like this. I take, I, Rolf takes the giant slayer axe and like just swings it into a tree. Mm. Just furiously. One-handed, by the way. <laughs> And keeps walking or just like sits there and fumes? Me? Ellie? Or Rolf? Or Rolf. Rolf. No, he, he follows along, but he has to stop every now and then to just like hit something. And just keeps like looking up at Colin and just like complaining and r rambling. All right. It's going to be a rough two weeks. However this it's going to be a bad walk. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, you all are attempting to make your way far south to Gorna, in the foothills uh, of the Stark Mountains. Uh, this will require two ch skill challenges. So what I would like each of you to do for the first skill challenge is to pick a skill, don't roll it, tell me what it is, and then why you think it's appropriate to navigating your way through hostile giant infested territory with a bunch of people who don't really want to talk to each other at the beginning um which is actually going to increase the dc of your tests due to the amount of friction in the party right now um yeah and so i would like you to just go around and tell me you are attempting to travel to the capital which is a known place but through enemy held territory um i would imagine with the, the attempt is to avoid as many entanglements as possible along the way. Is all of that correct? All right, so keeping that in mind, um, who wants to go first so that we can popcorn this? Yes, Lawrence? I would like Lawrence to use, and you're going to laugh, maybe, I don't know, persuasion. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because I I think that I would I would like and we can we can wait until after the whole thing but I would like Lawrence oh. to take a pause turn and look at back at everyone and and say some stuff so okay depend on what you say I will cast guidance <laughs> there are some things that will make Rolf mad however help the next giant that happens to walk across our path it's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Who's next? I will. I will use survival. Okay. I'm going to gather supplies, wood, and whatnot. He just wants to be on by himself with Nias. Okay. So he's So you're only gathering stuff for you and Nias, or are you gathering no, for everybody? He's, he's he's gathering stuff because this is, he has to provide for the group. So he's gonna gather enough for the group, but he wants okay. to be with Nias. Okay. So he wants cool. some time to calm down. I think Manny's going to just make sure, just use stealth to kind of scout out ahead, make sure you're not walking into anything. Check. Rolf I and Ellie. Rolf turns to 
the only thing that can bring him solace oh in this God. dark time it is Luthic's presence and the only place he can connect with her is within a cave that he knows lies somewhere nearby I like that okay and in there he also encourages Colin to come and sate his fuming rage and to foster it and, uh, and he also invites Avala too these are the two hum two these are the two non-orcs that he has great interest in and I will be using re religion for that I like that uh, okay, so that's a... I will ask Madel Madeline if I could borrow Avala. It's up to her. Yeah, she, she'll go. Okay. And then Ellie. You are muted. Muted. Of course. You're doing a good job, though, Crochet. You do a good job. Thank you very much. I feel like that has been Ellie this whole time. She's kind of just been sitting back, exasperated, just like, mm. this might as well happen. Uh, that being said, she is going to do an insight roll because she is seeing if or when it is appropriate to try to talk to everybody, to try to interact. She's trying to see if she needs to engage somebody else so another person doesn't talk. She is trying to insight as to what do I have to do immediately to, it's not even, it, I don't think it's even to keep this together. Cause at this point, if she didn't, if she didn't have to go to, uh, Kane's more she would have left you guys already she's like how can I keep this group together just until we get to Kane's more that's her plan she needs to do that so that's why she's gonna I like it back. okay it sounds like there's gonna be some scene play in this as well and it's not just gonna be a skill challenge that we're gonna some of this is gonna get expanded out as we go and you already rolled the inside before I asked boom which is not what I asked you to do. Oh, did you oh. not ask me to do insight? <laughs> I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we'll start with your insight check anyways. Um, I don't know how to narrate that without knowing what the other, some of the other roles are yet, though. So, um, let's start with the two that I think are, are less impactful to the roleplay side of this uh, and will kind of help the overarching everything. Uh, Colin, give us your survival check. I'm going to use my G DM inspiration to reroll. Get it. 16. Uh, 16 is good. Okay. Um, and then, Maddie, why don't you give us a stealth check? Stealth check with a pass out trace. Mm -hmm. It's a plus 10. Yep. 27. 27. You will, if you so choose, not have to run into anything you don't want to. Uh, and you will also be relatively well fed. Um, some of the areas you go through are actually a little bit sparser. Uh, as I said, the DCs were increased here because of the, the party friction uh, at the, the outset. And so there are a few hungry nights as you go through, uh, and a few cold nights as you go through. Uh, as you leave the Oitwood, you come into this area that's much more like Scottish uplands, and there's just fewer trees, and you have to start adapting your survival technique, and it takes a couple of nights to get used to a new place and a new mode of travel. Um, and so that is a little bit more difficult. But let's go to Lawrence's Persuasion. Too bad we're not getting along because I've got that whole cooking aspect of things and I probably could have fixed the food a little bit. Anyway. <clears throat> it's been very tense and stuff and so uh, I think at a certain point once once Lauren starts to see like territory that he's familiar with um, he's going to around the fire for the evening when everyone is actually sitting down and having their silent awkward dinner stand up. At the beginning of this journey, I don't know if any of you noticed this, but I am not the sort of person that just falls back. 
I am a knight and I do things and I say things, but I deferred to Rolf because we were dealing with a matter of his people. It was her purview, it was his, his purview, it was his people. So I backed off. We were about to walk into my hometown and deal with my people. So I implore you, all of you, to give me the respect of allowing me to have a say in how we interact with them. I do not think the issues that we have had amongst ourselves are unpassable with enough time and, and discussion, but we are in a war. We don't necessarily have time for therapy and, and hugs. But we are about to walk into the capital of Jaff, where there are people that need us to be heroes and not this shit show that we've been. So can we try to look like we are a united front? Please. Make your persuasion roll. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, thank God, oh, thank God. It was incredibly persuasive. That was amazing. <laughs> As the DM, this should affect the way you all feel about each other a little bit. A little bit. Should just increase things a step or two. Colin is going to let the persuasion roll go through, but he's going to get up and he's going to do, he's going to do the, the, the teen stuff. He's young, right? He's young. So he's going to get up. He's going to, after like being scalded, he's going to <laughs> walk off on his own. Nice. He's just sitting there like, and he's just going to walk off and he's going to reflect and then he's eventually going to accept what Lawrence has said but he is going to walk off he's sulking for a little bit it's okay yeah exactly and I think this brings us then to Abby's insight check the thing that you feel like needs to bring these people together as a, a leader, a single person who makes the call in any given situation, right? Different people have popped up at different points in times, but the group has no center. You should feel free to do whatever you want with that information. Okay. After a couple of days after um, Lawrence's speech, which was awesome, by the way. I'm going to have a heart attack over here. <laughs> You're so good. Holy shit. Um, probably around the same time. And Ellie Wick's been kind of quiet. And she's kind of then going to look at everybody. We need to do something about this dynamic. This isn't going to work. I need to get to Kane's more. I'm sure Lawrence needs to get to Gurna. But to do that, I have to trust that all of you aren't going to either blow up at each other or blow up at some random, and she's going to take a deep breath. So what I think we need is, I think we need a, I don't even wanna say leader. Somebody who is in charge of making the decisions. I want somebody to listen to who is steady-minded and who makes decisions for the good of this group. 
I don't know how all of you feel about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what this group needs right now. And I, for one, think that Madeline is a very, very good choice for that leader. Lawrence will just clap. <laughs> she kind of gives a little bow. Filbert looks at you like, wait, I thought it would be you, and then starts clapping when you clap. Lawrence. Rolf doesn't clap because he doesn't have a second, because it will hurt. <laughs> Your fingers are back. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't grab my fingers. They, you, they, you've healed over time. I grew my fingers back. <laughs> this is it's D D. You grew your fingers Warham back. This is Warhammer or logic. Yeah, this is this is you, you grew your finger. It's fine. They, they come Generous. back. It's fine. That's why ripping out the tooth wasn't that bad because it's a currency in orc. Yeah, it comes back. It's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Colin is going to point at Ellie and say, "I vote for her." And that's the only thing he says. <laughs> I don't, Rolf doesn't have anything to say. No, she said there needs to be someone who's level headed. You're a doctor. You got three soldiers and a very very strong nursemaid yes wife i'm sorry not nursemaid very very specific difference midwife yeah so why not have the druid the uh the gnome you want to you yeah go ahead Wrangle us in. Give us orders. Because you got a knight, a cavalryman, and an archer. We both see, we all three of us see the uh, the battlefield in a different way. Madeline sees it more as a ranger aspect. Lawrence sees it more of a knight. And I see it as a cavalryman. And I think that's where our heads butt. Among other reasons. So, you're the one who suggested it. You should take up the panel. Here's what I have to say about that. In order for this group to have either a leader, and I, again, I don't even want to say that. We have to come to a consensus about what we want as a group. And if I'm going to talk to everybody or give advice, what I need everybody to do, even if it takes a little bit of time, I need you to listen to what I say, and I need you to really think about it and consider it logically. You understand this is not going to work if what I say you're not listening to. And also know, I, you, you already know that I'm terrible with any kind of battle strategies. That will be up to you guys. When it comes to interpersonal things, that is something I have a little bit more experience on. It is the mark of a good and wise leader that they, that they know what aspects of leadership they are missing and, and seek out wise counsel. Colin goes over and places a hand on Ellie. I'll do what you say. But... Oh, uh, Madeline, you are muted. Oh shoot, that would have helped. Uh, <laughs> but um, you're gonna have to go through the Griffin Calvary initiation. You see a huge smile. Get on Ellie Wick's face. Does that involve 
and I kind of I kind of point to Nias, who obviously all this time has been like the most beautiful griffin. Yeah. Meet me? And he points up. Is there a mountain overhead? Uh, you're in like a uh, Scottish Highlands, so there are hills that are higher than others. There, the highest hill is over that way. How how high is the highest hill? Nine hundred feet. Some little rocks up there. It's kind of craggy. It's got some fog surrounding it. Meet me over there tomorrow morning. I kind of I'll lift up my head. I'll be like, okay. And as as everybody says this, obviously, like this isn't. It's not like I'm going to not listen to you or take your advice or listen to you guys either. But if you want me to start making suggestions, I can do that and I am willing, but you will also have to let me know if you think I do something not logical or not right by what you believe in. Madeline, you were trying to say something here too, and I want to make sure you got your space. Yes, please. Yes. If we're doing this, there's no more flying off the cuff, no more running into battle, half cocked. We need to do this as a unit, or else we're not going to survive. And our squire and our charge will not survive. And we will have failed this army. Their chance of survival was minimal at the start, but I understand what you're saying. Lawrence twitches. <laughs> and for the two of you, since we're going home, it's hard for me to say this, but be prepared for there not to be anything left. I actually don't know what I'm more afraid of. That they're still there and fighting or that there's nothing left. Well, if you think that they're all dead, you'll be pleasantly surprised or you won't be disappointed. You can still have hope, but you have to be at least a little realistic. Nihilistic. Always makes it uh, a little bit better. And easier. Madeline is correct. I have gone in and out of Gona several times trying to find my missing people and I did not find them and I did not have hope. This news that there is a resistance group has has re rebolstered my hope and <clears throat> and you are correct in that I am almost certainly emotionally compromised at current because of this hope that I currently have possession of. So, and uh, he is going to go in front of Eliwick and he is going to bow, or not bow, kneel, kneel like a, like a knight, like a knightly kneel. I am at your service, Miss Ellie. Ellie's just going to be like, Stop kneeling as it's gonna give him give him a hug. <laughs> to be fair, when he kneels, he's probably like, at your face. Yeah. Yes. I'm guessing like face to face. By it's like Aragorn life. kneeling before the, the hobbits. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you have my sword. <laughs> I <ax. laughs> uh he will he will accept your hug. He will stiffen and then do the awkward pat, pat yeah. on the back. <laughs> good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yes. Um, okay. Should I kneel, sir? No. no yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. No, I heard everything. I, I'm gonna turn to Rolf and be like, just wanted to make sure that you're okay with what just went down i want to get everybody's input
breathes in. And then he lets out a long, steamy breath. Mm -hmm. Sigh. And says, I'll need to pray on it! <laughs> Smash cut two! Rolf. And if Colin uh, so chooses to go, and Avala, in a cave. I don't know if Colin wants to go or not. That's totally up to Colin. Colin is getting provisions ready for this Griffin Rider initiation. Wow. Well, it's not the same night. Oh, yeah, let's do the initiation. It'll be all of these things happen within their own time space and aren't like mm -hmm. temporarily co existent. Yeah. So he let's do the initiative. Rolf needs his own chance, like his own time to yes. come to that conclusion. I forgot about the initiation. So I'm so excited. As a no, that's and precisely the reason that Rolf has to invite like Colin and Avala to the cave mother's den. Oh, I was I was not okay. That's yeah, okay. no, no. Colin that's will go. That's precisely it. That's how he describes it to you. He says, "I need people I can trust." Right. Okay. People who understand? And Madeline, okay. you're you're. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Shadow. You're free to play a volley here if you want. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, don't cool. don't. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'll do little interstitial things with the yeah. characters to keep the yeah. flavor rolling, but y'all, yeah. if you want to, in these sorts Just of things. Just prevent me yeah. from talking to myself with yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Uh, that is, that is just, my favorite characters to play. It breaks right, yeah. Britt's heart just a little bit that Lawrence tried so hard to be nice to Rolf, and it takes Colin breaking one of your friend's teeth. Then now oh. you're in the inner circle. Do you not know how orcs work? <laughs> <laughs> no, Lawrence doesn't. Lawrence goes out of and that's way. why you're not in the scene. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, before entering, uh, Rolf Humden carves the cave mother's uh, symbol into uh, the entrance and asks Avala and Colin to enter. And he gives a side glance at, if Nihilus is there and says, I don't know if your Griffin is religious. It's a oh. Griffin. Oh. It knows protect, eat, oh. Oh. poker. Oh. Uh -huh. You should see him play poker. He plays a mean poker. Oh. Great poker face. You can't even tell. Anything. Look at that beak. I don't know what women you're poking with your griffin. But I'd rather not hear it. There's no poking her here in this hollow, hollow place. Nice. Just stay outside. Hang on. Hang on. Stand guard. <laughs> you must repent for that which we know has been a sin, a blight upon our souls. I have many sins. I will present these to the den mother. Mother Luthic, I have not sacrificed as you have commanded me, not as much as I should have. There's always more blood to be spilt but I hope that my decision to not walk with your children, to not guide them, to keep them loyal, I hope instead your deeds can be done with this band of heathens, worthy and very precious, though here the this one is present. For they, these two I have brought into your den, they have vengeance such that has been birthed from your very womb, that which calls them. And yet today we have avoided giving in to this. We have fled. 
we have besmirched orcs. Orcs do not flee. They rise. And they collapse on their throes, those who have wronged them. Garlin, is this how you feel? As you are torn from that battle? As I look at it, he's a coward. He would not fight me as one should. He's a deserter and I will deal with him later. Is that the promise we make in this quiet den where secrets are carved into eternal stone? Vengeance, revenge. I will take vengeance on any and all deserters. But you have been slighted. You will stand slighted until this promise is made true. I don't know about Sir Lawrence, but everyone makes mistakes. And who judges what is a mistake and what is self-preservation? Luthic, the mothers, your mother. My mother? This is why I brought you here, to reflect. Lavala, between the three of us, you are the closest to Luthic. You have taken some vengeance, at least. You have avenged, you have fed and fostered this drive. And I see in you something that orcs should all strive to be. Someone so young and yet so deadly. And you can be deadly still. Myself and Colin can learn much from you. For you are not afraid, though your foe reigns over you. You do not back down. You avenge your mother and the rest of your kin. What of Colin and I? I, you saw, I slew my kin when I saw their weakness. I was ashamed of my kin, of my mother. For I believed she was of tremendous power, as all foolish priests are, that they reach down from the high heavens or the deep hells whenever they see fit. No. It is we, the lowly ones, that is our responsibility. I am a lazy fool. That is my sin. Carla, what is your sin? What does your mother see upon your grim face? My mother, Dea sees me as a murderer. Is that worthy? Yes. And does that bring you peace? No. Good. You will never have peace. Not within this den no out there in the wilds. That is not what life is about. Peace breeds agriculture. It breeds weakness. 
we are not farmers, the three of us. We are not sowers of peace. We are locked in this world for one purpose. And we declare that now in this den. I will see giants driven out of Joff for all that they have done to my kin and for having me trust outside of my kin, betray my mother. That is my oath. And they will see that you are worth fighting for. And I name you of all uh, the closest thing to a daughter I will have, if you will have me, as a father. And you, Colin, I know not what we may do. All I know is that in the moment I cared enough for you to let my fingers slip through that blade. Hmm. Because I recognize in you something, something that I have seen grown, squealing from the womb and then rising to stand taller than any chief I have ever met. And I have met and bore many chiefs. What is your oath? in the mother's dead. I'm going to take this halberd and I'm going to shove it in the skull of the Storm King. And then I'm going to find Thaden. And I am going to give him the Griffin Rider's punishment. The Blood Eagle. Guidance, channel divinity. Will Luthic bless this? Luthic blesses it. Good. You feel a sense of grim, wet endurance, a blood that rises through each of the three of you, uh, a lust to continue the fight, to, through your actions, allow the birth of something new. A carnage that the giants have not seen before. And the red, hot vision of vengeance. And now we must deal with a greater foe. Eliwick's optimism. I'm going to see if I can break her that tomorrow. I would be careful. She is kind. And we are easily lulled into accepting such things. I did not say we are farmers of peace. I just said, you know, we're, we're tough. We're very <laughs> tough. <laughs> Let's see how she takes the initiation. I'm curious about this initiation. What do you have in store for them? And that's a perfect place to smash cut, too. Ah. The next morning. My Unless, did Avala have anything she wanted to pipe in yeah, with? Yeah, I never got you to swear. Okay, um, I'll just think. Um, yeah, she just says, I just want to make them regret letting me live. Killing my family in front of me. I want them to regret that until they're driven from this land. And then with that, we smash cut to the next morning. Tie atop a hill. What? Fog covered and craggy. Abby, we need you. I don't know if you're... Yes. But you get, get your headphones on. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Gosh, come you on. You guys took your headphones off of that? Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. No! <laughs> how... So, how... Was it a good... Talk. Oh, great. Yeah. But there is a smash cut, too, the next morning with Eliwick, Colin, and Nias standing on top of a high hill nearby. 
Fog rolling over the valley. I leave it to you guys. This is this is the easiest DMing night ever. Now I love you guys. Colin is in his common clothes. He is leaning on a halberd, and he has Nias. He does not have any barding, any saddle on. Okay. And he looks at Ellie. If you want me to follow you, if you want to lead my formation. You're going to have to think on your feet. You're going to have to prove to me that you can persevere and find a way out of the toughest situation. And for that, I need all arcane magic foci. There will be no use of magic. Hearing this, Ellie's going to pause. What I want is, I want, I don't want to lead. I want to advise. However, as a group, I feel like that is a fair assessment. And as a fighter. We need an, we need a leader. That's going to be you. Some people are born great. Other people have greatness thrust upon them. And we are thrusting your greatness upon you. You can either rise up or be crushed. At this, Ellie Wick. All right, let's see what you got. In the, okay. No arcane stuff? No, no druidic magic, no magic at all. Okay, got it. This is a very sacred ancient right Mount Nias I kind of look up at Nias um, and I am very small um, is there a way I can like look at Nias in the face and be like would you be able to help me out like sit down as low as you can oh Nias he, he creates like a like a Dangly on perfect with his with his wing all right yeah so ellie wick's kind of gonna scramble up and is very very like you can see her face is just very humbled and almost in awe that she's sitting on this amazing great very very noble griffin she's just like do you feel that what you're sitting on the power and And ellie would kind of powerful yes for sure and he's going colin is going to say something in ancient human like uh whatever is like a old norse or nordic style of human and this is going to straight up rock it up and he's going to fly around a little bit yeah you know he's going to do some barrel rolls Mm -hmm. and and whatnot yeah at this point ellie is trying to as she's riding she's flown before she's never really ridden anything she's trying to kind of get the hang of trying to almost anticipate and move with nias with when he's turning kind of trying to find her groove on like how to stay atop this kind of very small. And I think this is when Nias, part of the ritual, is going to turn back and try to snip at your hands to keep you from touching him. Make an animal handling check. (laughs) And he'll he'll continue to do this. 22. At this, as he's kind of snipping my hands, I'll kind of lean down as close as I can and be like, my legs aren't strong enough to keep myself on by just my legs. They're not long enough. Is there another place you would like my hands? No. Now he hears this, he's going to start bucking. Make an athletics check. Okay. This is going to be an attempt to knock Ellie off. Yeah. Oh, that's a four. Oh. It's a four. 
uh, uh, you're, you're, if he is actually attempting to knock you off, yeah. you are knocked off. So now she's falling. Now make I'm a deck saving throw. Well, I also have a, I have two choices too. I have a feeling I can make a choice to either let myself fall and not use magic, like you said, and trust that everything's going to be cool, or I'm going to use my magic. That's a thirteen. As okay. she's falling, Nias is falling parallel with her. Seeing this, Eliwick, who is also very used to flying, is very very scared, but also knows that nice is not only like a very smart animal but he has been well trained and will kind of look nice in the eye and kind of like spread her arms like what do you want me to do uh, as they're falling he turns around to show you his back I don't think it's like a swim, uh, almost like a lunge. I'm going to reach my hands out to try to like grab on as mid fall. And you know how your stomach drops off. There's a bunch of force. So I'm guessing she's going to try a couple of times to grab on to Nias as they're falling. That's your dex check. Um, You are able to grab on. Okay. I'm guessing that I probably grab on too hard. Unless Nice suddenly like moves away at the last second or anything. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay. This is part of the ritual. Okay. So um, she's probably going to grab on a couple of times, probably a little bit too hard and finally kind of hoist herself back up. Sorry, that was too hard. Ah, Why did you do that? Nice is still dive bombing. You hear Colin say, make a decision or both you and Nias die because he's going to dive bomb you into the ground. Okay. Um, remembering how I was flying up and how, how Nias moved, especially when he was going up, I'm going to almost try to take that position of, okay, we're going up and I'm going to, you need to pull up now. Like very, Does nice do anything? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to roll because you're 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 commanding him. You're telling him what to do, like you would a dog. Mm. I feel like up until this point, it's, it's not it's not a command. More like, unless you and I die right now, I need you to pull up, like. Literally, my life is in your hands. I need you. I need you to go up now. Because we got. I'm trusting you. I, I'm trusting you so, with your life. That's so, what I need to survive. You need to pull up. So you're you're bargaining with him, saying that if I die, you die. It sounds like she's putting your. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it sounds like you're saying I trust you to do this. Yeah. Like. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. And that's because Ellie Wick, especially not just being a druid, but like being a healer, she knows kind of the way animals work. And she knows that Nias is really, really smart. So I don't know why you're doing this, but you got to pull up soon or I'm going to die. As he, as you got, as the ground is Mm -hmm. approaching very fast. Yeah. Nias turns upside down pulls up and you are now flying parallel with the ground upside down on Nias. Oh, Eliwick at this is going to kind of hysterically start laughing like to a point where <laughs> okay we're good it's all good oh uh, yeah I'm trusting you and she's kind of goes up to Nias a little bit more like I'm trusting you as she almost like she has one hand and as she's kind of flying, she can almost like feel the grass as she's flying, kind of putting her hand, like having the grass skim her hand, like, holy shit, this is awesome, but so scary. Bring him back if you can. <laughs> and I think this will be like an animal handling yeah, check. Yeah, I was going to say for here, make an animal handling check. All right, let's make another one. That one was a 13 as well. 
I, I would imagine it's a relatively low DC here, like a 10 yeah. or a 12. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So nice kind of swoops up and then go back to the crag. Mm-hmm. Once Nias lands on the uh, crag, Eliwick is still going to kind of like clutch on and like pet, like that was awesome. And you can tell she, all of the adrenaline is still like, like at, just after you get off of a roller coaster, almost like, oh, oh. <laughs> then she tries to like slide off Nias, but her muscles are so shaky because she's like she's not good at athletics and she was just like hit with a whole ton of g-force and so she just kind of like crumples off to the ground i got this just a second <laughs> and i kind of i kind of look at colin like i was right nias and i kind of look at nias that's probably the best griffin nias i'm calling it now I've never met another Griffin, but you're the best Griffin. So she kind of like just at this point lays on the ground looking up. Just like that was crazy. I can't believe I just did that. All right. At the at the end, Colin pulls off a ring from his middle right hand. And he fl- and he like flicks it like a coin towards Ellie. I'm guessing she she probably doesn't catch it right away. She fumbles with it a little bit. You can't be a Griffin Rider without that. See you in the morning, Commander. And he walks off. And now Ellie has a ring of feather, feather fall. Yes! Oh. Um. And that is actually where we're going to end for today. I feel like we needed a coming together moment for the party and you guys performed admirably. Oh my God. Everything that happened tonight was awesome. I am ending it a little early, but it feels like the story appropriate moment for the evening. Um, And then next week we will be at the walls of Gorna, which will be exciting. Um, But tonight there was just this, the shit tons of commitment from every character to their characters from every player to their characters. And I love you all deeply for it. Even when bad things could have happened, you decided you, you went into your character and you were them and you committed to it. And I love that very, 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 very much. Uh, I think that is, it can be hard to do. Um, and it can be hard as a DM to adjudicate as well, uh, to be like, well, okay. <laughs> um, and, uh, it did take me by surprise, but I also feel like y'all played through it amazingly and i just wanted to thank you all for being such amazing role players and just being amazing and and making my monday nights so awesome um so yeah let's go around and have reflections from the team uh we will start we'll go in backwards order from the way we went last time uh starting with abby that was a really 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 good episode um I find myself a lot of the characters that I play, I kind of play it as myself with a little, a few little quirks. So I find it hard to really like get into a character's mind, but like it's so awesome to play with people who like commit so fully to the point where like it's just, you know, it's nothing like them as a regular person and they're just spot on like zippy you're my mind was literally blown like everybody did such a great job so holy shit that was awesome uh, um well other who than are that, you where can we find you <laughs> yeah, my name is abby you can find me um on twitter at abigator frenzy um i am on this channel I am also on Four's channel on the forefront on some Saturdays, sometimes with Queers and Quaggles, the talk show where we talk about awesome queer storylines and monsters and blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm also, I do a 4E campaign on Four's channel on Sunday nights, which is awesome. All about world kind of about World War One, but kind of not about World War One. It just we depends. keep veering away from World War One. Yeah. But then we keep veering back. It's it's a little bit politically like World War One, 
uh, fantasy setting. It's it's complicated. The damn day. To the trenches. Yeah. Oh. So. Four. Well, I am four, and I am overwhelmed for the most part. Um, like you, Throck, I was blindsided. I was expecting a lot of this. And uh, I'm overly pleased with what happened. Um, let us begin the outro in full. I am four. You can find me on the forefront. I run that 4E campaign that Abby mentioned on Sundays at 8 p.m. EST. You can also find me Monday mornings at Encoded Roleplay, where I run Year of the Bear, which is a mouse card campaign all about what happens when a bear comes into a territory full of mice that don't know what to do about it. And I... Are bears like the size of titans? Yes. It is like a natural disaster just roaming <laughs> through the entire town and other t- and entire town, entire territories. Um, I'm also here, and I also do that cruising Quaghouse thing, um, which is a podcast that me and Abigail do, where we uh, go through the monster manual and tell you how to include queer stories inside your campaign. Ah! And I'm I'm also making an animorphs uh, hack of Blades in the Dark that I will hopefully be running soon. And just follow me on Twitter on the forefronts, and that's all I got for you. Tweet, Brit. I'm real glad nobody died. I was, yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm Brit. I'm out of stomach firebird. And uh, let's see. Tomorrow I'm on Pro Restarters uh, channel in the afternoon at like one. PM EST doing Dungeon World. Ooh. Um, I've got, you know, a pinned tweet that tells you where I always am. I am doing a one shot this Saturday on Scraticus at 7 PM. Um, but I don't know anything about it yet. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just realized, oh, wait a minute. I don't even know what system we're playing. Okay, never mind. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hey, um, that was a uh, oof. That was we did such a good job with that one. That was so good. Um, yeah, Sean of um, Flying Serious on Twitter. I have a pin tweet with all my um schedule stuff. I should have that up there. And yep, that's it. That's that should be it. Okay, uh, and and CP. <laughs> we haven't had a well. I haven't been here for a nice character heart to heart episode, and I think we really needed that. So it happened the way it happened. No out of character hard feelings. And uh, yeah, I'm Zippy Zippo. You can find me on my channel. I play a variety of games, but right now I've just been doing a lot of magic gathering because of how school has been. I just don't have a lot of time to invest in do a lot of other games. Um, every Wednesday, I'm here for Mona Kynan's Path to the Plains where I play Charlotte Weatherfields. Uh, and Sundays, I'm on Encounter Roleplay, where I am in their Young Heroes of Fate, which is a Fate core with Venture City supplement actual play. And I play Riley Rourke and the Otherworldly Guardian, Ogthalic. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so if we need to do aftercare, I always try to make sure in tough role-playing sessions we have aftercare afterwards, so if people don't know about that, I'm always happy to talk about post-role-playing aftercare, um, because it is an important thing to do. Um, I have been your Dungeon Master, Sean, also known as Throck Plays. You can find me, of course, here on Monday nights, uh, and then you can find me on Welcome to the Party a lot right now. Uh, on Wednesday nights, I run our Vampire 5e Camarilla, uh, Noir campaign uh set in la in 1943 and then uh on friday nights at eight at 9 p.m i run our uh <laughs> our, our our dragon dark days which is just transitioning out of dungeon heist into tomb of annihilation for its second book and then um uh, sunday morning well sunday at 1 p.m eastern you can find me doing our warhammer fantasy game which is by the way just to mention orcs are all warhammer orcs to me all orcs are warhammer orcs to me oh, it's just bro. it is just what they are because those are the best orcs uh, i <laughs> oh go ahead their currency is teeth 
Their currency is teeth. That is correct. Uh, and I'm currently in the middle of writing two books. Uh, one is a Vampire 5e a noir supplement that should be hopefully finished and free to the public uh, within the next month. Uh, that will be a setting and how to run a noir campaign of horror. And the second book is, we're just starting writing now, and I think this is actually the first time I'm announcing it, is we are writing a uh, Gaslight uh, Victorian London Mage by Gaslight supplement uh, for Mage the Awakening 2nd Edition, which will be up on, probably by the end of summer, will be up on the Storytellers. Uh, it's DM's Guild for Storyteller games for uh, Onyx Path games. Uh, both of those are very exciting, and uh, uh, I'm really glad to be cranking them out. And that's this is all the places you can find me. That's all the things I'm doing. We love you. We're going to go uh, raid Castle Mac, um, who is an amazing friend, both of the channel and of many people who are sitting in this channel right now. So we're going to go say hi to them. Uh, remember, we love our sponsors and supporters, such as Roll20 and Tabletop Loot, and uh, the map people whose name I can't forget. And of course, you are lovely patrons, subscribers, followers, and bit givers. Thank you so much for watching tonight and just general folks hanging out and chatting and being amazing. We love you all and the support that you give us for being here. We are heading off to go say hi to our dear friends at Castle Mac. Everybody wave bye. Bye. Once I see the wave, I can turn it off. Okay. There we go. All right. And